So a second new signing of the season for you. Just tell us about this one. Yeah, we've, uh, we're delighted that we've got a uh, centre forward in that we've uh, been monitoring for a long, long time. Uh, Jordan Burrows from Gateshead. Uh, exactly, you know, what we've been looking for. And uh, we're very, very fortunate to get him to come down to the National North. Uh, it's a player that could have certainly, certainly played higher. But, uh, you know, when, when we spoke to him, it was, uh, he felt that this club was the right club. Uh, he wanted to be part of something special and hopefully he can give us the goals that we need to get a promotion. What's his record been like then at Gateshead? Very good, very good. You know, he, he plays 99% of the games. Uh, he's he's an all-action type of centre-forward. He's hustle and bustle. His energy, his work ethic is, is outstanding. Uh, that's what really, really impresses me. And uh, I'm sure uh, in this league he'll be a real, real nuisance to defenders. You've spoken to us about wanting to get a forward that can complement John Parkin, play alongside John Parkin. Yeah. Is this the man that can do that? Yes, certainly. You know, he's a, he's a forward that sort of, as I said to you, you know, he gets around the pitch, and uh, we need energy around John. You know, because I think he put balls in the box. John Parkin certainly is the best at this level of uh, producing goals. But there's two sides to the game, and uh, you know, no, no disrespect, but John needs energy. He needs support, and uh, he needs somebody with strength. Uh, who can sort of do both sides of the game, which will complement each other very, very well. And if John Parkin isn't in the side, I'm guessing as well that, that Jordan can, can quite happily get the goals, not alone, because it's a team effort, but you, you see where I'm coming from there. Yeah, very much so. And, you know, I'm hoping the, the, what we're trying to do this year, and, uh, you know, we hope to have another big signing done by tomorrow, uh, who will help complement goals going forward as well. What is it about Russ Penn that's made you want to bring him to York City? His experience, I think it's vital that you uh, we go into the new season with, with players from a high level, uh, with great experience. I think the added for uh, ourselves bringing Russ Penn in is that he's, a, he's been a captain in the past. I think we need more leadership within the, within the squad. And uh, he's now become obviously settled in New York with his family, which is really important. You know, he, he lives here, he sees us as his home. Uh, and it's really important that he has something. I think he feels he has an unfinished business with the club. And I think that was a real good vibe when when I, uh, you know, heard that he was he was more interested in the opportunity to come back to York as well, which was a great fix for both of us. So, how important is that affinity that he clearly still has for the club for you? Massively, massively. You know, it's uh, I think it's so important that people understand what the club's about when they come in. He'll hit the ground running, uh, and as I said, he, he's had great success. Uh, you know, he's played over 600 league games, so all that experience that you need. Uh, to go on and uh, win championships, you know, he's, he's a fantastic start to what we're going to do this summer. What difference do you think he will make at that level for you? Well, as I said, yeah, I think it's, I think it's the experience of, of managing the expectations. I think that's one thing that uh, players coming into the club in the summer, we've got to make sure that they can handle what the club expect and what the fans expect. You know, it's a, the, the, the demands are massive and uh, we've got to make sure that we don't bring in anybody in that sort of can't handle the expectations of our club and that's so important that uh, Russ has all the ingredients you know he's uh, his age is great you know it's something that he's still got legs he's played over 40 games in the National League this season and uh, it's important that you know he, he gets his game time in.